Welcome back to Primetime Sports. Today we'll be previewing and predicting the Big 12 Championship game. Pretty sure it's still sponsored by Phillips 66. I don't know. But the Phillips 66 Big 12 yeah. Championship game between Oklahoma Sooners and the Baylor Bears. Uh, Oklahoma coming in at 11-1 and with their one loss coming to Kansas State on the road, who actually does not look as, like as bad as the loss now. Not a terrible loss Baylor, at all. Baylor, their one loss being to Oklahoma, blowing yeah. a 28-3 lead, a.k.a. the Baylor Falcons. If you get that joke, um, nice. Um, so, we have the – there they are. The Baylor Bears and the, the Sooners. Um, pretty much most people will probably lean towards Oklahoma just from experience in big games. Also, although Baylor, like, literally, nice. Ba- Baylor, literally, like, in the first half, at least, was just destroying Oklahoma. It's pure dominant. You want to give a little preview on what to expect from Baylor? I mean, <laughs> Baylor... They've got a very good quarterback in Charlie Brewer, obviously. He's thrown for about 3,000 yards on the season. Yeah, um, good running back, John Lovett. They do kind of have a, um, what's the word, when there's two running backs? Um, uh, a committee. A running back by committee with Lovett and Hasty. Um, yeah. Great court, great receiver in Mims, but their defense has been it's among the defense. best of Big 12. But oh, other, good? It's, a, it's one of the better just, for Big, for see, Big like, 12 standards. Good, see, like, I'm not going to lie. I watched a lot of this game, uh, part one. Their defense stellar. Then Jalen Hurts happened. For Big 12 standards, it's a good defense. And Oklahoma's defense has definitely improved. It's true. But like Baylor last night, has not play. played a single good team besides Oklahoma, in my opinion. They're I mean, you look at the schedule. Stephen F. Austin, UTSA, I, and Rice. I will say Oklahoma State, solid win, especially on the road and still water. Mm-hmm. It's a good win. The non-conference schedule. I mean, Kansas. Kansas is definitely on the rise. Well, That's a pretty yeah. solid win. They got miles to go. Wink, wink. Um... The non-conference schedule, though, who was it? Stephen F. Austin, Stephen F. Austin Rice, and, and I believe UTSA or something. I don't, yeah, I don't I, know. Point is, yeah, UTSA. Very poor non-conference. They didn't even win by that much. The, like Baylor passes the record, eleven and one. The eye test. They not beat so Rice much. by eight. No eye test from Baylor. Oklahoma, they look good. They look pretty, but they underperform. They even they took Iowa State took them to a two-point conversion. Yeah. Oklahoma could easily have two two losses. Baylor could easily be undefeated. Ever since it's that, weird that we, won, everyone wants Oklahoma. Ever, ever since that Kansas State loss, they've won by one, three, four, and then obviously they just beat Oklahoma State by what eighteen. But and they're that was still a close eleven game. and one, and they're most likely they have, they're going to have the best player on the field. They're going to have the best oh, wide yeah. receiver on the field, and the most likely the best running back on the field. And they've got the coach, and they've got the coach. They've got the offensive scheme. Their defense. It's just Oklahoma seems to be peaking. Although they're not like there's a huge gap between the front three. And then Oklahoma and Utah, Baylor, and the rest of the pack. But Oklahoma seems to be peaking at the right time for that fourth spot. So I think I think they beat Baylor. Now if Utah wins, it'll come down between those two. Deans Collins. Um well, Georgia also. Basement. Georgia also. What, what do you want to say? There? I was going to say, um, is there any chance Jalen Hurts – could get back in the Heisman race if he. Well, he's in the Heisman race. You mean by winning the Heisman, getting to the top of the Heisman. You can. They, he could. He Heisman. could very well not be invited. He's in the top three. You got Joe Burrow. Yeah. Justin Fields okay. had a pretty good year. And you could say J.K. Dobbins. You could say Chase I, Young. I wouldn't say no. I don't know. No. I don't know. I wouldn't. Uh, no, because I think that. Okay, J.K. Dobbins maybe, but if you if Field not Fields if Hertz goes out and they win the Big Twelve, one loss, Big Twelve, he's gonna get an invite. Oh, okay. The real question is, will Trevor Lawrence get an invite? No. Which is tough, great even though his, even those n- numbers since uh, the turn. Did you read that on ESPN on college football? Uh, I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. I read that. Um, as you see, original content here. Yeah, as you see, as all his stats come from ESPN as well. So I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> okay. Anywho, that's our prediction.